Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hudson T, and we are back with Victoria. And as promised last time, we want to see how we can move our power uh, production away from um, from steam towards nuclear, because especially if we do some research. Uh, with all the factories for the for the different uh, research bottles um, we are maxing out here which is not that ideal so I did clean out a few of the nests uh, over here which were close to our pollution cloud and the nest over here so we have the option to either take up uh, this uranium field or this one. I'm not yet sure which one uh, we will choose, but let's think things through. We will need a nuclear reactor and most of the things we have somewhere around save the concrete and we will also need the concrete for the uh, centrifuges which we will need to get the, uh, the uranium fuel for it and as i don't tend to plaster my base with uh, concrete concrete is always this niche thing that you need to have for the uh, uh, production of the uranium but there is not much use else so that's why at least for now I will just do that we will produce uh, the concrete here And we can have a pump right there. Um, a few pipes would not be too bad. And then we will have a chest with stone there and we can have that because up at our stone field I placed two steel chest where we store uh, stone so two steel chests out of uh, brick it's actually brick not stone um, should be uh, enough for what we need here if we can weave our way through here so uh, my inventory is pretty full but the car has lots of room And uh, that should do for now. And that basically deals with the concrete that we need. Uh, but that's just the, uh, the ingredients for the uh, different uh, builds or buildings that are required. Oh, we're actually too far down. Um, maybe it would be good to, uh, to take the car up there. Okay. 
and probably cannot add the complete inventory there. Um, There we can put out the, the concrete. Right. So that should give us uh, the materials we need for the centrifuges um, for the actual nuclear reactor. But we also need to build uh, those here. And I think we will have another temporary setup over here um, where we have most of the materials or can get most of the materials. And then I am thinking uh, the Coverix enrichment uh, that requires uh, 1500 of the uh, purple um, science packs um, and those are not too difficult um, to get so we could handcraft those put those in um, we also need uh, rocket fuel and then we can do this and that should then put us in a good situation where we uh, can enrich the uh, uranium and have a proper uh, nuclear reactor that will last us a while at least until we launch our first rocket and then we will have to see how much we uh, we scale the base um, but i think with that uh, we are pretty good to go uh, so let's head over to our uh, starting point and see what we can uh, figure out uh, in ways to uh, get the uh, other buildings uh, created there. Or maybe here? Uh, let's see. Copper and steel. Um, no, does not really make that much sense. I, I just thought because we have uh, some of the uh, electric circuits there, but we only need those for the centrifuges and the reactor, and we don't need to build that many of those, so I will probably handcraft them. So, over here. Um, We can pull this down. We can have another set up uh, like this. Still. And like that. Um, then have this um, pipes here we want to have pipes Maybe a long-handed insert there, short one there, and there. Um, maybe 
we don't need that big of an amount, but it's a bit tedious to get all the the things that we that we actually need. And then these ones. Um, gears. Um, and pipes. Those we need that much. And that's the big amount of things that we need. We need a few centrifuges, we need four nuclear reactors, but I think I will craft those by hand. Uh, so it's just a matter of collecting the materials. And then here, the electric furnaces, that's probably the thing that's most expensive. But we create three science packs, so we want to have 150, uh, 150, 1500, 1500. So that means uh, we need a third of those, that's 500 uh, electric furnaces. So one thing at a time, let's build up uh, our inventory first um, for centrifuges and uh, uh, the centrifuges and the nuclear reactor and then we will see about those science packs. So far we have managed to get one nuclear reactor out of four and 11 centrifuges. At least for now that's enough. I'm thinking oh, we will use 10 for the uh, refining of the uranium ore and then one for enriching and we can then expand that uh, in the future but we just want to get this whole thing a uh, kick started so while things are cooking in the in the back end uh, let's see what we can do about those purple science so down here We need rails. Rails we have with rails. So I think with rails that's where we uh, will actually produce the bottles. Then we need those, which means just plop one down here. Have this and then output. Um, those we need also 500. Um, if they stack to a uh, hundred, then it's that much. Otherwise, it's it's a full row. And then we also need the uh, the furnaces. So that's steel and red circuits. Well, let's do something similar here. Long-handed inserter. And here. 
Um, an electric furnace. And we need 500 of those. And of course, we also need a bit of uh, stone, which we have here in our car. Yeah, more than uh, we can fill in there. So that will then also process and produce. So adds figure out the, the last piece um, we'll have this done here it's all temporary uh, no more wooden chest so one output and then we have one chest for the uh, electric furnaces and one for the productivity modules once they have been created and while this is going on i will collect more materials to uh, finish our things that we need um, for the uh, setup and then not next time we should have everything together uh, in order to decide which ore field we want to tackle uh, and uh, uh, lay everything out towards that end but that's all in the next episode hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you soon goodbye